Yo, what's up guys? This is Goldmine and welcome to another video. Now you're probably wondering, why the fuck is my screen or my desktop fucking glitching the fuck out? Well, if you weren't retarded and you actually read the title of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get backgrounds that either you can interact with so you can get legitimate fucking games that you can fuck around with on your desktop, or they could just be video backgrounds like this. And the best thing is, this is on Steam. Now the reason why I like this so much is because this software is connected with the workshop. Thousands of people have made awesome fucking backgrounds this being one of them this is one that i actually got from the workshop and i really fucking love it now before i waste your time any further yes the software does cost money and yes when you do put a background like this on your computer depending how big the background is that'll depend on how much strain it's gonna put on your computer so if you don't have a very fast computer i honestly don't recommend this now credit does go to my roommate mason he's the one who actually showed me this he bought it and told me about it he introduced me to the program figured it all out. Now you can't see the other two monitors, but I do have three monitors, so I do have two other moving fucking backgrounds. But first, if you do want to actually get this, you want to go to Steam, and then obviously you want to go to the store. I'll have a link in the description as well. It's called Wallpaper Engine. It's $3.99, so it's not a lot of money, and in my opinion, this is definitely worth $3.99. As you can see, overwhelmingly positive, 97% upvote. So once you've purchased this, I'm actually going to turn mine off so I can fucking relaunch it. Turn on the software. If a screen doesn't pop up for you at the bottom right hand corner where your icons usually are, you want to go to the wallpaper engine, double click on that, and the menu will pop up. Like I said, I have three monitors. This fourth one is actually for my second computer. It's a virtual monitor, so that's why I don't put one there. So yeah, this is my middle monitor, this is my left, and that's my right monitor. So I'm just going to go to my middle monitor because this is the only one that you can see. All of the backgrounds that have the little Steam logo next to them, those are ones that I got from the actual workshop. I want to show you the interactive game one so this is just called sheep this is within the software itself so you don't have to search for it on the workshop so i'm just gonna click it it'll automatically apply it and as you can see it just launched the game and you can mess around with the sheep and there's even sound which is kind of cool so the background that I have for my second and third monitor is basically the NVIDIA GeForce GTX logo, and it just looks so fucking sick. I love it so much. Also, if you go to the gear up here, you can change the FPS. The default is 25, and you can change the quality of the background itself. You can also make it to where if there are programs that are taking up the entire monitor, for example, my second monitor where OBS is, it'll pause the background so that's not going to take up more memory on your computer. Yeah, there's so many things you can do with this this egg i like this one a lot it just follows your cursor you can fuck around with that <laughs> if you want to if you get bored the steam sale flag oh my god now i'm going to show you one that has music built into it this world of warcraft one does and as you can see i have the volume set on zero so let me just move it up and again, if you did get a background that has sound, volume, the majority of the time, it'll give you the option to turn it up, turn it down, or just mute it completely. So if you want to browse the workshop, obviously, you just click Browse Workshop. It'll take you to Steam and to the workshop. Do keep in mind, because for some reason in the past, people have commented saying, my background isn't on. And most of the time, that's because the software is off. So as you can see, I'm going to turn off the software, and it goes back to the default, or whatever background you had originally. That's how you get interactive and movable backgrounds on your computer. I fucking love this software. I'm so glad that my roommate fucking showed me this shit. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the software and just this whole concept in general in the comments down below. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. This is Goldmine, and I'm out.